so dumb Hitting me in my DM, wondering where I've been I got you hooked like a drug now Oh, you're sweating now You feel some type of way now Hey boos, welcome back to my channel If you're new here, hey boo to you too So today I'm doing a colorful look on my girl Gigi And we're just gonna just get right into it So I am taking um, a brow powder sometimes when I do like bold looks. I don't want the eyebrows to be too dark. So I'm just taking this powder just to fill in her brows. And her brows are pretty much cleaned up. So yeah, and the brow product that I got, I think this is from, I want to say TJ Maxx. I think. I'm not too sure, but I'll have everything in the description box. So, yeah, we're just going to just fill in her brows and then we're going to clean them up. Okay, so to clean up the brows, I am taking the e.l.f. 16 Hour Wear Camo Concealer in the color Deep Olive, and I'm just taking that to clean up her brows. To prime the lids, I'm taking the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Caramel. Deep Caramel, that's what it's called. It's called Deep Caramel. And I'm taking that just as our eyeshadow base so that our colors pop more. And we're just going to blend that in and then we're going to get right into the eye look. Okay, so our first shade, we're going to take this orange color in the Juvia's Zulu palette, and we're going to take that into the crease and blend it out evenly. take in the Zulu palette is that yellow shade and we're going to put that right on top of the orange and we're just going to keep going back and forth to each color so we don't lose any colors and we just don't want it to be too muddy either so you're just going to just blend that out evenly and go back in with the orange and then go back in with the yellow. Okay, now to darken up the crease, we are going to take that brown shade and we're going to put it on the outer corner of the eye and we're just going to bring some um, depth into the eye just so it doesn't look so bland. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're just going to just bring um, 
the brow into the outer corner into um, the crease and we're going to cut the crease after. Okay, to cut the crease, I am taking that e.l.f. concealer in the shade Deep Caramel, and I uh, have prior videos to this one about how to cut a crease, so if you need help with that, just check that video out for me. Now we're going to go in that blue shade in the same palette and we're just going to just pack this on to where we cut our crease and then we are going to add a pop of glitter. And this glitter is from NYX. I will have all the names of the glitter that I use in the description box. And now I'm taking this brown shade from the Subculture palette to just, like I said, deepen up the outer uh, eye. And now I'm taking a liquid liner and I'm giving her a winged eye. And after we apply the liner, we are going to apply lashes and then we will be done with the eye. And for foundation, we are taking the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the colors 370 and 335. I mixed these together just to get a perfect shade. Sometimes when you use one color, it tends to be too dark or it tends to be too light. So I always recommend that you blend. I mean, not blend, but um, mix. <laughs> mix uh, two foundation shades together because you will always get their perfect shade. Okay, to conceal, we're taking that deep olive color and then we're going to put it on our cheeks, our bridge of our nose, our chin, and the middle of our forehead. And then we're also going to take that deep caramel color just in the inside, just to highlight a little bit, and then we're going to blend that out.
Now we're just going to add the colors that we did on the eye to the bottom lash line. So we're going to put the yellow down, then the orange, and then some of that brown.
okay guys this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this it took a long time we were just laughing that's literally why it took a long time because all we do is laugh but um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video